Today in our 2011 Acura MDX, we'll be looking at our best hitch options. Okay, we have two hitches here today. On the top, we have a Kurt Class 3, part number 13354. And on the bottom, we have a Draw Tight Class 3, part number 75614. The main difference between our two hitches here today is that our Draw Tight here has this extra tab welded onto it where you can mount your electrical connections for your trailer wiring, such as your four pole flat or your seven way RV connection. Our draw tight hitch here has an additional hole that's in front of the standard 5 8 diameter hitch pin hole. This hole is for your J pin stabilization device, which is what you can use to help take some of that annoying shake, play, and rattle out of the device that's inserted into your receiver. Both of these hitches, being class three, have this industry standard two by two square opening here to insert any hitch mounted accessory we may need such as a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. Both of these hitches install exactly the same way utilizing factory weld nuts that are in the frame for one either side. Now when it comes to the installation our draw tight hitch here uses eight of these bolts here that are exactly the same. They go just like that with the washer now when you're trying to especially tighten this bottom one here, it gets a little tight in there with the frame of the hitch, trying to get in there with a socket. Kurt, however, did things a little bit differently. They have four of each of these bolts here, one with a large head and one with a smaller head. The large head goes in the back without a problem, and the small head one goes here. So as you can see, that does give you a little bit more room to fit a socket on there to tighten it up a lot easier. We need to temporarily lower the spare tire and temporarily lower the exhaust in order to have room to raise the hitches on up. Both of these hitches will work with the temporary spare tire. If you have a full size spare tire, it won't fit underneath the vehicle anymore. Both of these hitches have a round tubular frame construction that hides very nicely underneath our vehicle. They both feature the same style safety chain connection here where it's an angular plate welded to the bottom of the receiver and the frame. Both fairly easy to use. You'll even be able to fit the smallest diameter of safety chains in there. Both of these hitches have a 400 pound max tongue weight rating and a 4,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. And if you go to weight distribution on your trailer, their max tongue weight rating increases to 500 pounds and the max gross trailer weight rating increases to 5,000 pounds. Now, if you look over here in our Acura that we have here today, you can see how the hitch looks like tucked up underneath our bumper cover of our vehicle. We only have the class three two inch receiver hanging down, our safety chain plates, and a little bit of the hitch itself. Again, we have a curtain installed here. As you can see, we had to make our own bracket to install the wiring on our hitch, whereas the draw tight has that bracket already built into it, and it would sit level and not at an angle like this. I do like the Kurt a little bit more than the draw tight is when it comes to the ease of installation. However, I also do like the draw tight because we have the J-pin stabilization device hole and the extra bracket here to attach our wiring to. If I was going to be purchasing one of these for my vehicle, I would go for the draw tight myself just because of the added features. Even though the installation is a little bit more difficult, if you don't really care about the extra features of the wiring bracket or the J-pin stabilization device, I would go for the Kurt then just because the install is easier. And that completes our look at the best hitch options for the Acura MDX. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.